In this video I'll explain how to add count percentage labels on top of histogram bars using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that a new numeric vector object is appearing at the top right, which is called x. And we can have a look at the first six values of this vector object by running line four of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a vector with random numeric values. Now, if we want to draw a histogram of these values using the basic installation of the R programming language, then we can apply the code that you can see in line six. And in this line of code, I'm applying the hist function to our numeric vector. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that we have created a new histogram of the numeric values in our vector. However, you can also see that on top of the bars of this histogram, no values are shown yet. So in the next part of the tutorial, I will show you how to add count labels on top of the bars of this histogram. And we can do that as you can see in lines eight to 10 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm again applying the hist function to our numeric vector. However, this time I'm also specifying the labels argument to be equal to true. And I'm also increasing the violin because the labels will also take some space in our histogram. So if you run lines eight to 10 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our histogram is updated. We can also enlarge on this histogram by clicking on the zoom button. And then you can see that we have created a new histogram, which is showing the count values of each bar on top of the bar. So we can also add percentage labels on top of the bars. And this is what I want to show you in the next part of the tutorial, starting in line 12 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm again using the hist function and I'm applying the hist function to our numeric vector. And then I'm specifying the labels argument to this formula that you can see in line 13. I will put the code of this tutorial into the description of the video so you can just copy paste it from there in case you want to replicate this example. And then again, I'm specifying the ylim argument to be equal to a larger range to increase the space for the labels. So if you run lines 12 to 14 of the code, another histogram is created at the bottom right, and we can enlarge this histogram by clicking on the zoom button. And then you can see that we have created another histogram, which is showing the percentage points on top of each bar. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.